remember our discussion about the airplane when I brought it down and I laid it on your desk? And I said, it looks like the real thing, doesn't it? And the big airplane, the wingtips would be on that side of the room to this side of the room. That's how big the real P-51 Mustang was, right? Yeah. Okay, can you picture that in your mind? But yet we have a model back there that looks like the real plane, right? So somebody shrunk it down, but it had to look right, okay? The proportions had to be correct. Because if the model, remember I laid it here on the desk, and then I put the meter stick on top of it, correct? And I said, what if the wings were as wide as the meter stick? Would the model look like the real thing? No. 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 So the proportions have to be right. When you're doing stuff like that, you're shrinking it down, the proportions have to be correct. So the model rocket's four feet, the real one's 363 feet. Anybody remember how wide it was at the diameter? On, on a leak? Uh, I think it was 36 feet. 33 feet. It was 33 feet at the diameter on the base. The base of it was from this side right here all the way through to that side was 33 feet. Okay? So, um, the thing that we don't know right now, the thing that we don't know and, and we're gonna label this as a variable, we're gonna say this is n, is how wide does my model need to be in order for it to look like the real rocket? Okay, so here's how you set this up, watch. 